What's going on, one? My name is Kyle here as AKA Racer Night 99 Videos and Gentlemen. Guys, we are back doing the NASCAR Heat 5 Truck Race Season Let's Play. So we're in race number 5 to 23. We're here in Texas Motor Speedway, night racing. So qualify 6. Last race we got the win at Homestead Miami Speedway. Can we go back to back? We're about to find out. So let's go racing at Texas Motor Speedway. Alright, so we qualify 6 by the way. Can we make a back-to-back -back wins? We're about to find out. And Ross Chastain in the number 40 starts on the pole. Alrighty, so we qualify six. Can we make a back-to-back? We're about to find out. Alright, here we go. Night racing at Texas Motor Speedway. And the green flag run away here in Texas. Look at this, three wide for second. Coming off turn number four. Got the drive partner by the number 13 of Johnny Sauter. And I am going to lead the first lap here in Texas. Johnny Sauter second, Ross Chastain third, Austin Hill fourth, and Grant Enfinger in the top five. Now Johnny Sauter's going on the outside. I'm going to be on the inside. Yep, so very soon we'll have to come down pit road, but not yet. with four tenths of a second on Johnny Sauter, the 2016 Truck Series champion. He's up to second. Got 16 laps to go. Got a fast race truck by the way, qualify six. Got a great draft partner by my teammate Johnny Sauter. And go for the race lead in uh, first lap. And I, I gotta say, good way to start by the way. Got 15 laps to go. Gotta say when our pit stops are gonna be happening very soon. But we'll be coming very soon to come down to get some fresh tires and fuel. Austin Hill now up to second right now. Johnny Sauter third, Grant Enfinger fourth, and Ross Chastain, the pole sitter, fading back around in the top five. Now Austin Hill is now up to second. Johnny Sauter is on the outside. He's up to third. We got 12 laps to go here in Texas Motor Speedway. We're gonna make our pit stop soon, guys. Get some fresh tires and fuel. Yep, 
Yep, my truck's getting a little tight, though. But we're going to come to pit road very soon. We got 11 laps to go. Next time by will be 10 laps to go. 1.4 tenths of a second on Austin Hill. Alright, we're probably... We're going to do our one last lap and then we're coming down pit road. Unless if a caution comes out. So we got 10 laps to go. We're going to come down pit road right now. Alright, coming down pit road right now. Yep, coming down pit road right now. Alright. Two cans of fuel and four tires, no repair. Oh, what's going on with Johnny Sauter? Now he was up the third, now he's fading back. Oh, he's got an engine problem. The 13 of Johnny Sauter has the engine problem. All right, coming down pit road to get some tires and fuel. Here we go. 50.3. All right, good pit stop. Okay. Here come the leaders coming down pit road. I'm still in the lead lap, so might have a chance to get back in the race lead. Eight laps to go. And looks like Austin Hill had a fantastic fast pit stop. And now he's going to be still in the race lead. Wow, looks like he had a fast pit stop. Austin Hill had an incredible fast pit stop. He's still in the race lead with seven laps to go. Now, should I even have a chance to close the gap? I don't know. The lap traffic's going to be the factor, though, by the way, but... Six laps to go. I hope we got enough time, though, if I could try to, to close the gap on Austin Hill. I see the number 16 up there. Now, the question will be, could the lap traffic's going to be the, the problem, by the way? Yeah. Oh, Austin Hill is having a hard time with the lap traffic, though. I'm closing the gap. Five laps to go. Here I come. And here we go. Through the three wide. Through the middle and to the lead once again. Wow. How about that? Austin Hill is having a hard time getting around the lap traffic. And I came back and went through the middle. Three wide and went back to the race lead. Four laps to go. I'm not going to lie. I thought I was going to finish in second, by the way, because Austin Hill had a fantastic pit stop, by the way. And all of a sudden, uh, Austin Hill was having a hard time getting around the lap traffic. And then I came back, went through the middle three, three wide, 
and back to the race lead once again. Three laps to go. Now it's 3.6 tenths of a second on Austin Hill. Ross Chastain third, Brent and Finger fourth, and Stuart Friesen in the top five. Catching up Ty Majeski. Oh. Gonna have to check up a little bit. The one hit the back bumper of the 45 of Ty Majeski. So two laps to go in Texas. I think we're going to make it on fuel. We're, we're good on tires. Coming off turn number four, white flag. One lap to go here in Texas Motor Speedway. Final lap. We had a fast, dominating race truck. Qualify six. Down the back straightaway for the final time. Ross Chastain now up to second. Coming off turn three and four. This is going to be a back-to-back -back wins and win number three of the NASCAR Heat 5 Truck Race Season West Play. And guess what? We're going to do our burnouts this time. to stop right around right here all right here are the race results so I get the win here at Texas Ross Chastain finished in second Austin Hill finished in third Grant Infinger four Brad Moffat top five Todd Gillen finished in six Sheldon Creed seven Tanner Gray eighth Natalie Decker finished in ninth good run for Natalie Decker and round off the top ten is Christian Eckes all right, so here are the points standing. So this is win number three of the NASCAR Heat 5 Truck Race Season West play. So now it's time to go to the victory lane and celebrate back-to-back -back wins. All right, we're going to see what the next race is going to be. We'll be right back. So the next race is going to be for race number 6 to 23. It's going to be Richmond International Raceway. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. By the way, hit the like, hit the subscribe button, click the bell notification to turn it on. We are on the road to 4,000 subscribers. See you guys next time. Have an amazing, awesome day. Keep it red, Jip, and have a fantastic day.